Hello and welcome to another edition of GB Bounce. I'm Darren Francis and alongside me today is uh, the Shep News' most experienced footballer, Patrick O'Meara. Welcome, Pat. Uh, thank you, Damo. Um, of course, round 11 is the split round and that's what we're going to take you through this week, the first half of that, uh, which is only three games. So we're going to start with uh, Shep United and Uroa. Yeah, no, it could be an interesting one. I see um, Tim Luby's not named today. We're not quite sure why, but, but if he's out, that's a... That's a big out and a, a big win for Ural, especially with Jason Eagle obviously not coming back this week. Yeah, Ural must be delighted to not have to deal with uh, Jason Eagle, of course, putting <laughs> yeah. seven goals and a one-off appearance against Maroot in the last probably week. need about six blokes with uh, how, how skinny they sort of are to, to man up on the man mountain. Um, but yeah, Ural, their coach has obviously come out and said, um, look, they're, they're a bit realistic about this week. They know United's flying and they just, just sort of want to be competitive and meet their own targets. So... Be very interesting to see how they go. Obviously, the last couple of weeks have been a bit up and down. For sure, and United obviously flying a fantastic win against Maroon last week. Probably great for their confidence as well. Oh, definitely they don't necessarily need it. Um, second game this week, uh, Seymour and Maroon. Uh, Maroon obviously heartbreaking last week. Can they bounce back? Oh well, this this is a massive game for Seymour. I reckon this is this is a game they have to win. The they've, they've won all the games that we sort of expect them to win this year. They're sitting in sixth. Um, there's division between the top four are obviously all very good and there's a few question marks and this is a game they have to beat someone that's above them um, so I reckon there's a lot of pressure on them you know what you're going to get from Saad Saad and all that but it's the bottom end bottom end guys that really need a fire for them yeah, yeah Maroon are obviously obviously flying as well and Jared Liddell back in for Seymour he's probably a good one to have come back into their midfield mix yeah well he's, he's a big in he, he can get forward and kick a few goals as well so he's pretty important to him. Yep, absolutely. And uh, lastly, Tatura and Benella. Uh, we can probably only see one winner here, first versus last. Uh, what can Benella do? It's a very good question. This is a massive task for them. Tatura, top of the ladder. Haven't done anything wrong this year. Cam Truen's been beating up on side, so no doubt he'll be um, one of Benella's main targets. And obviously they've lost a couple of boys to the Bushies again as well, so uh, it'll be... Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens. What, what's your take on it? Yeah, well, as you mentioned, James Martin and Harry ran up to the Bushies this week. They also lost uh, Jordan Wolfe um, in training this week, had an injury. Um, they've had scans on his knee and all looks clear, but uh, they're worried about his ankle now, which is a real blow. He's been in great form, and um, that's a really disappointing loss. What's what's a pass mark for Benalla this week? What, how far or how close would they be aiming to get to him? Uh, look, limiting damage um, is probably the... The biggest thing for Tim Symes and his boys this week. So, look, if they can keep it to 100 points, I guess that's probably a, um, a start at least. And, look, hopefully they can do a bit better than that. But it's hard to really see it. Well, that's, uh, that's it for this, this week. And we hope you enjoy the footy wherever you go.